obviously the first line of defense is going to be very close care of the oral cavity. Um, they'll include things like brushing your teeth but using a very soft brush. Um, gargling with a mild solution of either water or a little bit of salt water three, four, five times a day. It'll be gentle flossing. Um, so sort of standard sorts of things, uh, it's the first line. Um, as lesions begin to develop, um, usually what's happened at that point is that physicians will treat with local care. So that uh, using what is typically called magic, magic mouthwashes um, that will have a barrier, frequently Maalox is used, as well as a local anesthetic like lidocaine, tends to be the um, most common uh, treatment for these sorts of lesions. There have been a number of both medical devices as well as mouthwashes which have been examined, most of which are not particularly effective. Again, all of these really are trying to treat the symptoms of already developed oral mucositis. The real goal in the whole oral mucositis arena is to try to prevent the development of this. There is one drug um, available, but only for those patients that have blood cancers. Um, and this has been shown to reduce the incidence or the development of oral mucositis. Unfortunately, because it's a growth hormone, um, it is not approved at this time for solid tumors, and there is concern that there may be some interaction with some of the other therapies that we use for those cancers.